Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm reviewing the new A24 horror slasher, X. X marks the return to horror for director Ty West, who's best known for films like House of the Devil and The Innkeepers. It's been about eight years since the director has filmed the movie, and he has made his return with what I think is his best film. X is a horror slasher set in 1970s rural Texas. It follows a film crew who are staying in an elderly couple's estate to film the next great adult movie. Un unbeknownst to the elderly hosts. Eventually, the crew finds themselves in a fight for their lives. X is a sleazy, violent, sexy, suspenseful slasher that feels very much like an old-school slasher film. The aesthetic and vibe is very reminiscent to Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and it felt like it was risque and made bold choices that we used to normally see in films from the 70s and 80s. There's a lot to love about this film, especially the cast. The cast is excellent, we have Brittany Snow, who is pretty much a standout in this film. She's playing this over-the-top, confident, sexy porn star who is bubbly and she's intelligent and she doesn't really fall into the dumb blonde stereotype. Mia Goth is also mesmerizing in this. I could not look away from her whenever she was on the screen. There's just something endearing about her and she really makes overalls look sexy. I need a pair of overalls for the summer. Then we have Kid Cudi, who's also excellent. He provides a little bit of of the comic relief in this. We have Martin Henderson, who you might know from the daddy in the ring. His character is the producer of the porno, and I love that he's not like the typical sleazy creep that is often portrayed in those types of characters. He's actually pretty open and supportive of the women and their needs and it was refreshing to see. I also think Jenna Ortega killed it in this like she has in everything she's been in lately. She starts off as this very timid shy girl that's kind of frowning upon what kind of film they're making and then over the course of the film we see her grow. What I love most about the characters in this film is that they're very sex positive. There is a lot of sex in this movie but the way that the scenes are shot it doesn't feel gratuitous or exploitive. It's very much done in almost a tasteful way and the characters in this story, they are very in charge of their sexuality and they're empowered by it. These women are not victims. They're very accepting of themselves and they look at sex as a very natural thing. I just really love what they represent in the film. We really get to know these characters because the film takes its time. This is another slow burn where we spend a great deal of the first half of the film really Really following these characters, learning their motivations and their desires, we get to actually see the adult film being made and that's one of the reasons I like the movie so much is because we care about these characters. They're not just throwaway characters. Each character has its own purpose and they're all very likable. They all feel very real. The pacing might come off slow to some but I thought that the pacing really helped build the tension in the eeriness to the setting and you just really didn't know what was going to happen or when it was going to happen. And then when things do start to go wrong, they do not let up after that. Once the violence starts, it does not stop until the very end. And that just made it an awesome ride. We are given some gloriously gory and violent kills in this, which shocked me. I was not expecting the violence and gore that we got in this. The first kill in this film is just beautiful to watch. You kind of know it's going to happen, but the swiftness in which the scene changes, it is is very shocking and the extent of the violence that's happening is just breathtaking. The way that the scene is shot and the way that the music is flowing through the scene, it's so beautiful and it makes you almost forget that you're watching somebody be brutally murdered. It almost feels like a dance. Even after the first kill, I never knew where the movie was going or how I was really supposed to feel because the tone is just so strange. There's just such an uneasiness and discomfort throughout this film. There's moments of humor and there's moments of disgust, but the moments that are disgusting to me, it makes you feel like you shouldn't be grossed out by these moments because they are natural moments. And I think that is one of the underlying messages of the film. There's also a, a meta vibe to this because we're getting a movie within a movie. So there's a lot of conversations around the filmmaking process and there's a lot of discussions about how they're not just making a dirty porno, they're making a cinematic masterpiece. And I think that has a lot of parallels parallels with horror films and what kind of horror film they were trying to make with 
sex. And I think that horror and porn go very well together. They're like one step apart from each other. It's an interesting idea that this film really explores well. This movie is both sleazy and dirty, but it can also be cinematic and stunning to look at. There, it doesn't have to be just one thing. This is a movie that I felt on edge throughout because I did not know where it was going. I was very surprised at times and I think the kills are excellent. There aren't any huge surprises in this, but I don't think it ever really promised huge surprises. I think this movie is an incredibly smart slasher with a lot of important thought-provoking messages and themes. There's a lot more here than meets the eye, and I think it's one of those films that will only get better upon repeated viewings. So I think this is one I will definitely buy the moment it releases. If you're a fan of old-school, dirty, sleazy slasher films, you'll really love this one. You'll especially love it if you're a fan of Ty West's other work. Although I think this one, it just feels so much different than his other work, but you can still get that aesthetic vibe that Ty West goes for. His films are very atmospheric, and this film is very atmospheric. I just overall had a blast with this. I really hope that people go out and support this, because people always complain that we don't get any original horror movies, and when we do get the original horror movies, people don't show up to support and watch them. So here's your chance. And if you go to see the movie, make sure to stay till the end credits, because because there is a post-credit trailer for the prequel film Pearl, which has already been shot. This is insane to me. And the trailer looks fantastic. It looks like a completely different kind of film. I don't know if it's going to be released theatrically, but I think it, we're going to be getting it later this year, so stay tuned for that. I don't want to say too much about it because I don't want to give anything away. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this one, but please keep it spoiler free. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time. Bye.